Chapter 13 Exponents and Powers Part 2 Good morning children In last module we have learned about how to express a given number in its exponential form We can multiply or divide numbers expressed in exponential form Today we shall learn about the laws of exponents Let us recall what is mean by an exponent. Exponent means number of times the base term is multiplied by itself. In the example 3 raised to 4, 3 is its base and 4 is the exponent. 4 times the base 3 is multiplied by itself. That is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 that is equal to 81. 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81. Laws of exponents. We can multiply and divide numbers expressed in exponential form. First law. Multiplying powers with the same base. For that we can take one example. 3 cube into 3 square is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is equal to 3 raised to 5. Here the exponent 5 comes by adding the two exponents in the question. That is 3 raised to 5 is equal to 3 raised to 3 plus 2 and the answer is 3, 343. Here we multiplied identical bases. For that we have to add the exponents together. Let us take one more example. 12 square into 12 cube is equal to 12 into 12 into 12 into 12 into 12. That is also equal to 12 raised to 2 plus 3 is equal to 12 raised to 5. In fact, this is true in general. Thus we have if A is any number and M and N are natural numbers, then A raised to M into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. That is, the bases are identical. Therefore, to multiply identical bases, we have to add the exponents. Let us try this question by using the first law of exponent. That is, Dividing powers with the same base. Let us simplify. 2 raised to 5 by 2 cube is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. The whole divided by 2 into 2 into 2. Here, 3 2's are common from numerator and denominator. Therefore, that you can uh, cancel. And you will be getting 2 into 2 as the answer. 2 into 2 is equal to 2 square. Though we can say that 2 raised to 5 divided by 2 cube is equal to 2 raised to 5 minus 3. Here we have divided two identical bases. Isn't it? Two exponents with the identical bases. For that we have subtracted the exponents together. Let us take one more example. 5 raised to 10 divided by 5 raised to 6 by similar procedure, you will be getting the answer as 5 raised to 10 minus 6 is equal to 5 raised to 4. In general, for any non-zero integer a, a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Where m and n are whole numbers and m is greater than n. Let us try this question. That is simplify and write in exponential form by using the second law of exponent. Taking power of a power. That is two or more exponents or when one exponent is raised to the other exponent. Let us take one example. 2 square the whole raised to 4. 
here the base is 2 square and the exponent is 4 that means we have to multiply the base 2 square 4 times that is 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 2 square here we have arrived another question that is we have multi we have multiplication of powers with the identical bases that is 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 2 square can be written as 2 raised to 8 we can add all the exponents together therefore we get 2 raised to 8 here the exponent 8 comes by multiplying this 2 and 4 that is equals 2 raised to 8 is equal to 2 raised to 2 into 4 from this we can generalize for any non-zero integer a where m and n are whole numbers a raised to m the whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n let us try this question simplify and write the answer in exponential form multiplying powers with the same exponent that is if we have identical exponents but different bases what is to be done can you simplify 2 raised to 3 into 3 cube notice that here the two terms 2 cube and 3 cube have different bases but the same exponent but we can write 2 cube into 3 cube is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. We can rearrange this uh, all the factors and we can write like this 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3. Thus we have 6 into 6 into 6 that is equal to 6 cube. Observe 6 is the product of the bases 2 and 3. Consider one more example that is 4 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 4. This also we can arrange like this 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Then we can rearrange this 4 and 3 and we will array 4 into 3 into 4 into 3 into 4 into 3 into 4 into 3. Here also we will get 12 into 12 into 12 into 12 that is 12 raised to 4. From these two examples we can generalize this property that is in general for any non-zero integer a a raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a into b the whole raised to m where m is any whole number. Let us try this question by using this law. Dividing powers with the same exponents. Observe the following simplification. First one is 2 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 4 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 the whole divided by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. And we can rearrange this numerator and denominator by 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 the whole raised to 4. Second one a cube divided by b cube is equal to a into a into a the whole divided by b into b into b. Here also we can rearrange and we can write this as a by b the whole raised to 3. From these examples we may generalize a raised to m divided by b raised to m is equal to a by b the whole raised to m where a and b are any non-zero integers and m is a whole number. Let us try this question by using this law. Numbers with the exponent 0. Can you tell what 5 raised to 1 by 5 raised to 1 equals to? You know that 5 raised to 1 is 5 
and 5 by 5 is equal to 1. We got the answer as 1. But we can use the laws of exponent that is a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Thus, 5 raised to 1 divided by 5 raised to 1 is equal to 5 raised to 1 minus 1 is equal to 5 raised to 0. The same question, we got the answer as 1. Thus, we have arrived the result as 5 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, we can generalize this property such that a raised to 0 is equal to 1 for any non-zero integer a. That is, any number raised to 0 or any number whose exponent is 0, the solution will be equal to 1. For example, 14 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 7 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 9 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 35 raised to 0 is equal to 1. That is, for any non-zero integer a, a raised to 0 is equal to 1. We have seen that numbers in exponential form obey certain laws which are for any non-zero integers a and b and whole numbers m and n. a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. a raised to m the whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n. A raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a b the whole raised to m. A raised to m divided by b raised to n is equal to a by b the whole raised to m. A raised to 0 is equal to 1. And moreover, we have seen that negative 1 raised to an even number is positive 1. And negative 1 raised to an odd number is equal to negative 1 itself. Thank you.